Hello everyone. Today our topics are logical equivalences involving quantifiers and negating quantified expressions. First, logical equivalences involving quantifiers. The notion of logical equivalences, compound propositions, can be extended to expressions involving predicates and quantifiers. Definition. Statements involving predicates and quantifiers are logically equivalent if and only if they have the same truth value, no matter which predicates are substituted into these statements and which domain of discourse is used for the variables in these propositional functions. We use the notation S equivalent to T to indicate that two statements S and T involving predicates and quantifiers are logically equivalent. There are two important equivalences involving quantifiers. For all x, px conjunction qx is equivalent to for all x px conjunction for all x qx. And the second equivalence exist x, px disjunction qx is equivalent to exist x px disjunction exist x qx. These logical equivalences show that we can distribute a universal quantifier over a conjunction and we can distribute an existential quantifier over a disjunction. To prove the first equivalence, we have to show that these statements are equivalent. These two statements are equivalent. If we have the first is true, then the second should be true and vice versa. Suppose that the predicates P and Q have a common domain. This means that if A in the domain, then P of A conjunction Q of A is a true. Since we have conjunction, this implies that both P of A and Q of A are true. Because B of A and Q of A is a true for every element in the domain, we can conclude that for all x, p, x, and for all x, q, x are both true, which means that the second statement is also true. Next, suppose that the second statement is true. Since we have here a conjunction, it follows that each of these components is also true. If A is in the domain, then P A is true and Q A is also true. It follows that for all x, px conjunction qx is also true. Hence proved. For all x, exist x for a universe with elements 1, 2, etc. n is defined as for all x, px is equivalent to p of 1, conjunction p of 2, conjunction etc., conjunction p of n. Exist x, px is equivalent to P of 1, the junction P of 2, the junction, etc., the junction P of N. Next, negating quantified expressions. Consider the statement every student in your class has taken a course in calculus. This statement is a universal quantification, namely, for all x, px, where px is the statement x has taken a course in calculus and the domain consists of the students in your class. The negation of this statement is, it is not the case that every student in your class has taken a course in calculus. This is equivalent to, there is a student in your class who has not taken a course in calculus. And this is simply the existential quantification of the negation of the original propositional function, namely exist x, not P of X. This example illustrates the following logical equivalence. Negation of for all X P X is equivalent to exist X, not P X. Next, suppose we wish to negate an existential quantification. Consider the proposition. There is a student in the class who has taken a course in calculus. This is the existential quantification exist x qx where qx is the statement 
X has taken a course in calculus. The negation of this statement is the proposition. It is not the case that there is a student in the class who has taken a course in calculus. This is equivalent to every student in this class has not taken calculus, which is just the universal quantification of the negation of the original propositional function, or for all x, not qx. This means that the negation of exist x px is equivalent to for all x, not px. These two rules are called the rules of negations for quantifiers equivalences, and also known as the Morgan's laws for quantifiers. From these two rules, we can obtain another two rules the negation of for all x px is equivalent to exist x not px and the negation of exist x px is equivalent to for all x not px. Example one, what is the negation of the statement for all x, x square greater than x? The negation is not for all x, x square greater than x which is equivalent to exist x, not x squared greater than x. Also can be written as exist x, x squared less than or equal to x. Example two, negate for all x, px implies qx. For all x, px implies qx. This is equivalent to exist x, not px implies qx, which is equivalent to exist x, not px implies qx is not px, the junction qx. which is equivalent to exist x by applying the Morgan's law, not, not P of x, conjunction, not Q of x, which is equivalent to exist x, P x, conjunction, not Q of x. Again, we obtain this part by the definition of implication and this part by applying the Morgan's law. For today, that's all. Thank you.